So the next one's called a flam tap. Um, I would have put the flam tap before the flam accent personally, but what do I know? Anyway, um, it's like one in the afternoon, and the reason it's one in the afternoon is because I've already spent the morning practicing the previous flam accent. Um, so yesterday I told you guys I would try and practice it. Yesterday I didn't get a chance to practice it. I wasn't in the house all that much. So I was about to sit down and click next and go on to the next one this morning um, to do this. And I stopped myself because there's no point in moving on if you haven't made any progress on the previous. And I didn't feel like I had made any progress while doing the video yesterday. So I sat down and I kept working on the flam accent until I got it up to 145 BPM is what I got it to, um, which I was really happy with. And then I did an Instagram video of it. Um, so that's there if you want to see that. But um, I'm going to look at the flam tap now. Uh, but I just wanted to start the video with this because it's important to realize that just glancing over stuff does very little for you. You have to spend time on it and I'm not really spending time on this. I spent like one practice, one hour on it and, and made good progress, which is like, it's, it's hugely beneficial to me because at the end of the day, making progress for me is few and far between. I don't practice enough. I don't give myself enough time for to try new things. Um, and it, it's really nice to be in this bubble where the normal stuff that, that takes me away from practice isn't there, like work and life in general. Um, it's nice to know that given the right conditions, I can be super focused and I can make progress in my drumming, which is nice. Cool. So let's move on to the flam taps. Now, as usual, I haven't looked at this. Um, because I want to learn with you guys, not not be like lording it or practicing for hours and then playing it for the first time on video, like I'm just a god and I'm, I never make mistakes. It's not beneficial um, for to make people think that the person providing the content is invulnerable to mistakes because that makes them feel like they're failures. Everybody makes mistakes, just some people choose to never show that. It's the difference between practice and performance. Some people are in performance mode when the camera's on. Okay. So a flam tap. Flam tap is basically a tap on the same hand as the flam's on. So a right handed flam has a tap on the right and a left-handed flam has a tap on the left. It actually allows us to set for the next flam perfectly, because in the tap you're lifting the, the opposite sticking for to get ready for the next flam. So it's kind of like one E and two E and three E and four E and three E and four E and one. That was bronze. This is silver. I used to do flam taps between the floor and the snare so you get different voices on each one and that way you can hear when you're doing it right. Obviously on a pad kit it's not easy. If I kind of go edge. I messed up talking there, sorry. Or I messed up because it's ridiculously fast. Nope. 
So I reached my my limit at the end of gold there. Let's find out what that is, just tempo wise. So it's it's ninety BPM. Distracted. <sighs> I can't do it at that speed. But when I concentrate, I can. Okay, so. If I was to spend time practicing that now, my start speed would be 90. And then I jump to 92. Let's see if I could do it at that speed, then 94, then 95, then 98, then 97, because I wasn't able to do 98, then 98, then 99, then 98, because I wasn't able to do 99, then 99, and then 100. And it's not, you don't jump from 90 to 100. That's ridiculous. You have to give yourself tiny little increments um, so you can grow. And if you want to be proficient doing it at 100, practice it to 110. So that when you go back down to 100, that it seems like you've got a bit of space. Um, but getting good at this, just going... That's not... You want, you want to have that form continued no matter what speed you're doing. If you're just going... That's, that's not playing flam taps because you're not getting that alternating sticking. So you want to make sure that that stays with you no matter what speed you get to. Uh, I make that mistake as well myself. Okay, so um, I should move on because I want to get through the, the breakdown. So the rudimental application exercise. Ugh. Bam, tap, bam. Bam, tap, bam. Bam, tap, bam. Okay. <laughs> I should put on the speaker for this. I got this speaker for Christmas from Michelle. And I connected to the iPad so that I can hear what I'm playing really clearly. It's it's a really great speaker. Uh, Bluetooth on. JBL flip tree connected. And play bronze Hand lead. Okay. This is not going to be easy. Thank 
baby game. This is phenomenally good for your um, for your working out on these rhythms. I really love this. Sorry. thing on that one that was the end of gold um, I don't think I'm gonna that was the that was the end of silver this is the start of gold So, you get the idea. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it at that level. I got tentatively to the end of gold. So, what I'd like is to get strong to the end of gold and be able to get maybe halfway through platinum, solid enough. What speed was that? So, if I go to my metronome again, just keeping the tempo in my head, tap it out. time like that if I just half time it down it's about 100 okay 100 is my goal um, what can I do with that let's see if I can do it at 90 
fell into the trap of doing every right hand lead and not, never doing the left. The left is much harder. Try left again. So, flam taps on the Vicfort website, the 40 top rudiments that they have on their page there. <sighs> it's all challenging stuff, but it's all good. And I'm, I'm noticing progress in, in a day, um, which is really motivational, um, especially if you're kind of plateauing with, with a lot of your playing. Um, that means no matter, like, you don't see, like, progress in your play, no matter how much you try. So it can be really... Um, hard to motivate yourself uh, so do doing this is, is a great motivation because um, you can see a difference within a practice which is great okay so let me just take a look and see what number that was the flam taps is number 22 on Vicfort's 40 essential snares and rudiments so go check it out let me know what you think any questions, pop them down below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.